So here is what Trello looks like. And as you can see in homeschool, each of my kids has a master board, which I set up at the beginning of the year. So if you wanna take a look at 10th grade, it looks like this. And I basically lay out weekly tasks, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And this is like the general plan for the year. Now, week to week, all I do for my kids is I go in here to the menu and I copy the board. And then once I copy it, I put the, their name and the date that it's good for, like the week. And then once that's there, you can find it on, on right here on the desktop. So I can go in here and see what my 10th grader has done. He's checked all these things off and you can see from his weekly stuff, he had a few things over there, like listening to a podcast cast episode for current events. He moved it over on the days he was going to do it. And so I can quickly see if he's keeping up with his schoolwork. And he actually went ahead and did something for Friday ahead of time. So you can, I can totally see how he's doing. This is all we use for homeschool schedules. So once again, all we do is at the beginning of the year, it takes me less than an hour for five kids to set up a master board, which just kind of lists on there what I expect to be done every day. So here's my first grader and it's some of this stuff does not take long at all, right? The spelling might be 10 minutes, but it's still on there. And once we go through everything and check it off, we know we're done our day. My kids love Trello. They think it's awesome and I think it's awesome. And the best part is it's free. So if you wanna find out more about how to use Trello in your homeschool, you can go to 41more.com forward slash Trello and I will show you all my tips.